what's happening in Pearland. I'm Melanie Baran with JL Wyatt Properties, myhomeinhouston.com. Proud to bring you your June 2021 Pearland update. There are a couple of business items to talk about for the city of Pearland. These are some new things that you as a resident of Pearland want to be involved in, even if they're not the biggest, splashiest thing. The first is a development portal has been created on the city website. So if you are having any questions about zoning or permitting, you can go in there, register your project, see what the fees and the licenses that you need are. So this is really more of a registration system and an information system. It's not the big thing that everybody loves to go and make videos about and throw parties about, but it is a really neat system that is going to help you as a city resident or if you are a contractor needing information about some of the permits that are going to be required for your projects, this development platform or development portal is going to be really helpful for you. So if you're considering doing some renovations or additions to your home, your backyard, things like that, and you're not quite sure what you need, you can go to the city website, search for development portal, and it'll come up and you can get the information that you need specifically for your project so that you can plan accordingly. And then another thing that's going on with the city website is there is a community survey there. You can go, you'll put in your information so they know kind of what area of Pearland you live in, if you're a resident, things like that. And you'll be able to basically give your opinion on a lot of things. Many times we want our voices heard and we're not quite sure how to make that happen. So if you go to the city website, you go to the community survey, you'll be able to have your voice heard, give your opinions, you'll be able to rate all kinds of different things, and then the city will also be able to contact you based on what you said you're interested in being involved in, what issues matter to you. We can't all care about every issue. That's just not possible. But if you're in the know about the issues that are important to you, then your voice can be heard. So make sure that you go to the city website, go to the open community survey, put in your information, put in all of your opinions so that Pearland knows what you want and what you need and what your vision for the city is. Mayor Cole and the rest of the city administration want to hear from you so that they can serve you better. So now that those kind of businessy type things are out of the way, let's get to more of the fun stuff. Make sure you stay to the end because there is a big thing coming up here in a few weeks. But let's go ahead and talk about a few smaller projects. First, Dog Park at Independence Park. That fencing is going up. That project will be complete so that you can take your whole family to the park and let Fido run around in a safe environment while you know, you've got your kiddos at the playground, you're out at the baseball field, you're fishing, or whatever it is that you're doing out there, there will be a more complete area that the dog fencing is going up so that you can take your entire family. The city of Pearland is also going to be taking part in the Metro Houston Van Pool Program. Basically what this is is a group of commuters come together. They all pay a small flat fee to ride in a van pool up to wherever you need to go. So let's say you commute to the Med Center. Obviously we know there are a lot of Pearland residents who do that. You can go ahead and register and meet up with a group of other commuters who are also going into the med center and ride together. Basically, if one person's driving the van, then everyone else, you can you know be on your phone, you can read, you can listen to music, that kind of thing, because someone else is driving. So it's basically like having your own personal bus where you can commute together with other people, save on those costs, you'll pay a low, mo low monthly fee, and it's like a month-to-month -month commitment. And those buses will be going out of Shadow Creek Ranch, uh, locations near like the Shadow Creek Ranch Sports Complex and Nature Trail. So your commute would basically be you would go there, park there, get on the van pool, all ride up together, all come home together on that van pool and then go home. So if that's a commute s solution that you're interested in, make sure that you go and you, know, you can just Google like uh, the Houston Metro van pool and put your information in and they will get you connected to others in your area who are launching this van pool out of Pearland. Things like concerts in the park and so many other things are one of the reasons that Orchard.com has named Pearland one of the top 15 under the radar cities to live in Texas. Obviously we know that Pearland is great and they have ranked Pearland the number four out of the top 15 under the radar communities to live in. Orchard ranks those based on high quality of life, so obviously things like parks and recreation programs, 
um, schools, all those kinds of things go into that ranking that rank for a high quality of life, as well as low competition to buy homes and low home prices. So comparatively to other areas, it may not feel like it's non-competitive to buy homes because overall it's a competitive market, but compared to other places, low competition to buy homes, lower home prices, which is really nice if you're trying to buy a home for the first time with a high quality of life. Pearland, congratulations, number four in the top 15 under the radar cities to live in the entire state of Texas. And another thing that is worth celebrating that is super exciting is that the Freedom Fest is back. Pearland likes to go big for the 4th of July. Last year, obviously, it was a hard year for everyone, but Freedom Fest is back. Freedom Fest is on. Freedom Fest is obviously happening on the 4th of July. Make sure that you go to the Pearland Parks and Rec website or Facebook page to get all the information. But Freedom Fest is back. I'm excited. I hope you're excited. There are a lot of great things happening in the city of Pearland. And this has been your June 2021 update. I'm Melanie Baran, JL Wyatt Properties. I hope something really great happens to you today.